What is going on, guys? Wiser here coming to you with a very special One Hive Labs episode. This was actually um, done in celebration of One Hive Venom, our fourth clan in the 2.0 families chain, uh, their 100th Warway, which is kind of a big deal. Um, one, Venom was started by uh, one of our longtime uh, ex members, a uh, good friend of the, of the family. Um, awesome guy, uh, DWS, do work son. I know uh, anyone who watches my videos knows that name. Uh, so it was started by him actually quite some time ago uh, as our Town Hall 8 sort of clan um, with the idea of, you know, really new 9s and Town Hall 8s would have a war clan. But then as Town Hall 11 came out and things sort of progressed, that kind of didn't wasn't really working out. Anyhow, right now it's it's more family friends clan. We got a couple a uh, couple of our alt accounts in there, just kind of keeping it keeping works going and very very casual. Right, we have some old old ex time sort of half retired members and just just friends family whoever wants to join. Anyways, uh, I did want to use this opportunity um, to kind of go through the war real fast and seventy sixty eight. Um, this was a random spin and we matched up against Dream Team FR. It's a French clan, obviously that's what FR stands for, um, and they put up a hell of a battle actually. So um, you got to realize uh, a lot of this our roster and venom here, right? We like I said, it's, it's we don't use it. None of our um, full accounts are in here. So we made this up uh, from all of our different clans. Anyone who really had some ties to Venom um, sort of coming up through the ranks and just sort of longtime members and stuff sort of all got together. We put together this roster of 25, ended up matching Dream Team FR. And I do want to give a bit of a shout out to these guys. Um, like I said, you know, 70, 68 against uh, sort of all sorts of mixed and match uh, 2.0 family roster. We were definitely happy with the, uh, the competitiveness in the war. Uh, at any point in time, we could have lost the war if they had uh, just came through in a few attacks. So shout out to these French guys. Uh, really good job. Thank you for the war, Dream Team FR. Thank you for the 100th win. As you can see on our bases, uh, they did their diligence uh, up top. You know, they got two stars uh, on our 11s fairly, fairly quickly, but definitely two stars on me. 99% number one bully fail on me and then uh, he had an 87 percent against uh, effie so those were huge victories for us right there that one percent <laughs> really uh, at both of those stars could have really made the difference because those are two strong bully attacks um and then obviously them leaving the three town hall nines on the board that that was really ended up being their demise um as you can see because we did not have a great war necessarily myself or ourselves um, myself, I had a horrible war. I definitely did not contribute to this win whatsoever. Um, man, I just had a my struggles. I hit, uh, this guy for a zero star. Effie ended up almost taking that two star and actually this star sort of secured the war for us. So nice job to my friend Effie from 2.0. TU with a nice bully, 100% absolutely smashed it with a mass bowler. I might sneak that in in the end. I'm going to try and, I'm going to kind of chime in. I don't have any sort of official notes for this war other than the attacks that I just literally went all through. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show what I want. I, I wanted to sort of talk about recruiting a little bit uh, throughout this video because uh, that was sort of the essence of One High Venom. That, that was part of our process and, and we were sort of grooming guys. And um, I don't know, it just all ties in. Anyhow, um, overall, nines got cleared by us. I believe by all nines. I don't think we definitely, I was a 10. I didn't have to, there's no way we had to use any bullies in there. So, uh, you know, much stronger war at the town hall. Ooh, yeah, much stronger war at the town hall nine level for us. Um, much stronger war up top for them, and it just is unfortunate that we had such a low weight top half um, because they had more up there. We, I don't know, based on my performance at least, I'll take full full blame for our poor performance up top. Uh, anyhow, let's just jump right into this. Uh, I'm going to start at the bottom like usual. There's a few attacks in here. Again, a lot of these sort of alt accounts. Some guys are actual accounts that might be from Swarm that I'm not. I mean, spent some time in Swarm. I definitely don't know everybody. So if I'm not sure whose account it is or whatever, please don't crucify me. But uh, we I don't think I want to go that low. We definitely had like these were, I think that was a Town Hall 4. This might have been a Town Hall yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's just kind of, we're going to go up and just kind of see the bottom half of this war. So obviously this is not our typical war. We threw together a whole bunch of town halls. Um, it's town hall eight in there. Yeah. So we'll, so we'll try and start down the bottom, uh, like 20 or 15 ish. I'm thinking, yeah, something like that. So we're at Town Hall 8 still at number 18. Anyways, going to just jump right in, show a few of these attacks. I do, uh, like I said, there's Mikhail Jr. We'll start with double clutch here. 
on this Town Hall 9. Anyhow, Double Clutch doesn't use Lalos. I'm just saying that. Nice nice little Lalo by uh, my brother-in-law here. Anyhow, uh, one thing um, I did just want to touch on. Um, I wanted to kind of make specific mention just about where a clan's at, what a recruiting process is like, um, you know, what it would be like for you if you applied, um, but just to kind of get perspective because I don't know, I can't really necessarily speak for other clans. Um, however, we do have quite an extensive process you go through. I mean, we have one high two, we have one high 2.0, we have um, Invicta, we have Swarm as our three main clans. Obviously, Venom, like I just mentioned, is our family friends clan. So, realistically, when you apply, you're applying for Swarm. Um, it might not necessarily exactly say this on the website when you apply. Um, however, um, you, you pretty much you, you go to Swarm no matter what. And you get anywhere from, I want to say, two wars to a dozen wars uh, before it's really fully decided exactly what your role is going to be. Um, and then from that point on, uh, you would probably move up to Invicta, assuming uh, you proved yourself as an attacker or or whatnot. Everyone has different situations. We have guys that have joined and are comfortable just being in Swarm. We have guys that are hungry to get up 2.0 as fast as possible. Um, I did mention in another video, you know, we'll get some applications from guys that have previous experience in other top clans, and that's awesome and great, and we 100% respect that. However, you need every everyone who's in that situation also needs to respect our, our situation, right? We have our rosters fairly set um, all the way up top. So the movement between 2.0 and Invicta, although it's fairly common, the, the majority of movement is from guys that have put in a lot of time into building themselves and helping build Invicta and just being part of our family, being part of our process. And um, that's something that you need to understand uh, if you're applying for the 2.0 family. We build our clan, our relationships, and, and long-term um uh, long-term thoughts on, on keeping members that really are there just to be, be part of the family in whatever way possible. And if, you know, obviously, obviously with the end goal of, of, of getting to 2.0, um, but understanding that it could take a fair amount of time to get there, especially if, you know, you're um, in the middle of path, like if you're not an attacker that completely stands out and you're super active and you help everybody else plan and do a ton of crazy extra stuff that is just noticeable, like in any, position, right? I mean, you go to a, the, the workplace somewhere, that's generally what people evaluate you on. I mean, not necessarily does seniority over, always count. However, for the most part, it, you know, we take seniority fairly seriously. And, um, it, you know, especially if you think about at the Town Hall 9 level, there's a lot of great attackers. And we do monitor stats. We do base a lot of our promotions on stats. However, that that's definitely not everything. We we build we, we build a lot of long term good relationships in the clan, and it's super important to realize that if you're applying. However, with that being said, I feel that promotes an awesome atmosphere because um, for the most part, especially you know in 2.0 specifically, you look at that entire roster, all those guys, everybody has put in a lot of time into making this clan what it is today, and. If, if you can understand that and think of that long-term vision with us, then then we're, we're definitely the place that you should be applying. Um, if it's not, no big deal, um, but we're probably not the right place for it because if you can't handle, I don't want to see, I, that might not be the right word and it's not exactly what I mean, but if you're not all right with, and, and you can't understand why potentially you might be down in Invicta helping, get, helping keep that clan going, um, you got to understand Invicta, we treat as our one of, like our a top war clan. Everything we do in Invicta is is absolutely just like we do in 2.0. Uh, they're arranging every single weekend. There's never you know doing potluck, doing everything that 2.0 does. There's very little difference except the fact that it it has the most movement within that clan. So it's hard to get that same group of guys that you know exactly who is good at doing what and being able to plan as a war general for that. That's where the only difference is because Invicta constantly has people going up, constantly has people going down, right? You, you got to realize that that pull pull from both sides um, does does take its toll and it takes dedicated people to understand that. Uh, people, that, like I said, that just want to be part of the process. So, um, and again, you know, one I swarm, I do want to, I do want to edify them to the point, right? 
what they do down there, they yeah, they do a lot more random searches. However, they have been absolutely getting involved in an occasional range war. They had one, you know, and it's all learning process. You got to realize a lot of new recruits. There's probably constantly five recruits in that clan that have maybe a handful of wars or less. Um, so it does make it difficult, but I'm saying they try and keep it very interesting down there. They try and do a potluck spin occasionally if, as long as we can match the rosters. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they always got 30 plus. It's never, never a problem, never, never gets boring in Swarm. Um, but like I said, it doesn't take much for you to uh, to show that you want to move up to Invicta. Um, so now anything sort of about the specifics of what we're looking for. I think I think I can speak for a lot of clans. When I say that um, Town Hall 11s probably are not being heavily recruited right now. Excuse me. Still a lot of talking. Um, sorry, I hope you guys are getting bored by this. I just like to get perspective on what we're looking for and why. And like, there's just there's no point in applying, right? I think this hopefully clarifies things for people. Um, <clears throat> so... What was I just going to say? What what I'm specifically looking for, what we are specifically looking for is um, Town Hall 10s. I think that is flat across the board. Town Hall 11s, I don't think a lot of clans are necessarily looking for because uh, all the clans are going to be so top heavy, I find. Maybe I could be completely wrong. I have no idea. So we really only speak for 2.0, but I feel it's fairly similar across the board. Town Hall 11s are very oversaturated right now. Um, Town Hall 10s are... A, a rare beast. <laughs> I don't know if they exist. I think think there's a unicorn <laughs> known as a Town Hall 10 somewhere out there that wants to apply. But <laughs> uh, and Town Hall 9s, um, really at all levels, uh, I, I do think right now Town Hall 9 did get easier, obviously, with this update. However, uh, I think it's in a pretty good spot for them to start making Town Hall 10 a touch, touch more enjoyable. I think is the correct way to say it. I don't want to say easier, but in a sense, that's that's what it is. I mean, if you're a town hall ten, I, I you know I, I I've been reading a lot. Let me let me just break into this real quick. At town hall ten, I've been reading a lot about the state of it. You know, a lot of people aren't happy. It did get it did seemingly get a little more difficult. And um, I was watching. I watched class with Ash's video. Um, what his perspective and just kind of things don't seem fully balanced. And I think I tend to agree with him for the most part. Um, you know, I did watch Powerbang's response to that because he does quote Powerbang on that. And Powerbang was just clarifying. He does feel 10 all 10s in a pretty good spot. And I think he's like, I sort of agree with him too at the same time. But there's just a few little tweaks that need to be made, I believe, that that are really going to just allow you as a Town Hall 10 attacker to still require sufficient planning, still require there being fails, still require you to have more maxed out stuff, maxed out troops specifically, uh, max heroes to make it a little bit easier. But I can tell a lot of the Town Hall 10s are just frustrated and burnt out because it's it's just a little bit too too ridiculous. It needs to be needs to be a little bit easier, in my opinion. And when I say easier, like I said, it just needs it it just needs some tweaks. That's that's all I think is you just need some more options. You need a little bit more viability of certain troops. Maybe maybe some access to other troops that they don't currently have. I don't know. Something small needs to be made. I think Town Hall Nine is pretty good at a pretty good level. Town Hall Eleven is. Eh. Is Town Hall 11, but um, yeah. Anyhow, that's my little rant about Town Hall 10s. Um, and, and for the most part, I am pretty much uh, done. So, I mean, uh, primarily, if you're Town Hall 10, um, you want a clan to grow with, please come apply. We'd absolutely accept you right away. Town Hall 9s as well. Um, always looking to bolster bolster our Town Hall 9s. Can never get enough of them. Plus, one thing we're realizing very quickly is the rarity of Town Hall 10s, the best way to get good Town Hall 10s is have your town hall nines that were really good that are maxed just go up and and get them to learn it, it's a curve absolutely but with friendly challenges now your dedicated town hall nines if they're ready to go let them go because that is the best way is we're, we're promoting our within our family to you know go up to 10 our beast attackers are uh, are on their way so uh it's going to be some interesting times for class clans ahead because you can totally see where the game's going town hall 11 it's getting so heavy to not have like 10 Town Hall 11s and more. And 
Obviously, you can't match that. But um, anyways, I think I'm going to call it a night. Grats, Venom, 100th War win. Thank you, Dream Team FR. was a pleasure. Until next time, guys, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. And I'm out.